Hello there. I hope you're well this morning. I'm uh, looking at uh, 2 Timothy 3.16, which is about the scriptures. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. I think we might change the man there to the person of God. (laughs) to the follower of Jesus, the follower of God, the one dedicated to God. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for a lot of things. It teaches us, it corrects us, it encourages us, it strengthens us, it keeps us on that straight and narrow path, um, not being swayed to one side or other by changes of trends or thinking in society. This this book, the Bible, is the eternal word of God. Uh, it has been kept miraculously at times by God throughout the ages. Um, if you look at, into the history of the Bible, you will find there have been many, many times uh, when those who Uh, loved the Bible or tried to translate it or tried to get it printed so that everyone could read it um, was persecuted Um, and many people died in the struggle to keep the Bible available to ordinary men and women. Um, And often the motive for stopping that was that the people who were leading in the church or in the world were living contrary to the teaching of the scripture and they didn't want people to realise that they were believing a lie. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable. We do need reproof. We do need correction. We don't get it right all the time. There are days when something happens and we do we respond to something or we say things or we react in a way that we wish we could take back, and we can't. And if we read a scripture that points out where we've gone wrong, where we've made a mistake, we need to respond to that and be teachable and change, or ask the Lord to help us to change in our response to things. But we're human, of course. We're always gonna get something wrong. We're not always gonna be perfect. And we have to be kind to ourselves and forgive ourselves for messing up. And yes, but this is talking about the scriptures and the scriptures are wonderful because they tell us all about ordinary people who did extraordinary things for God, but also who sometimes got it badly wrong. Sometimes did things that they really regretted, said things they wish they'd never said wish they could take back the words that they'd said. And the the scripture doesn't hide the flaws of the people it writes about. All scripture is inspired by God. That word inspired is actually literally in the Greek is God breathed. Uh, How it happened, we don't know. Some people wonder like they wonder often at the mechanics of the Old Testament person who says, and the word of the Lord came to me and said, uh, you know, how, how did that actually work? Was it, was it a thought process or was it an angel visitation? Or what, what actually happened? And we can say, how did God inspire the scriptures? But what is incredible about the scriptures is that Some of the prophecies in the Old Testament are so incredibly accurate that people can't believe they could have been written centuries before the events that they foretell. That's how accurate the scriptures are and have been. This is a wonderful book. There isn't another book like it. All scripture is inspired by God. I wonder if you're a bit, I don't know, selective 
in which bits of the Bible you read and which bits you don't read. Maybe you don't read any of the Old Testament. I don't know. Or maybe you read Genesis and uh, perhaps um, Deuteronomy, uh, but you certainly don't read Leviticus or Jeremiah or, or one of the minor prophets, Zechariah. But all scripture is inspired by God. And God uses his scripture to speak into our lives. And as we read what was inspired by God, inspired by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in us opens up the scripture to us or applies the scripture to us or gives us a, a new understanding of a particular passage or maybe, I mean, I've lost count of how many times I've read something and I've read, I've been a Christian since I was 14 and uh, I've read the scriptures through and through many times and yet there are times I pick it up, I read a verse and it's like I've never read it before and it is so fresh and it is so meaningful and it is so um, alive as God applies it to my life and to my heart. This book is worth all the other books in the world and uh, all of it, not just the Gospels or the letters of Paul. So, whatever, your, whatever bit of the scriptures you read today, ask God the Holy Spirit to speak to you through them and uh, move you on in your walk with the Lord. That's what it's all about. Profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. We're in a school, you and I, and the purpose is that we may be complete, equipped for every good work, so that when things arise that we can do for the Lord, we're ready because we've been taught and prepared. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.